I'm Roger with Synthesizers.com, and here's an introduction to modular synthesizers. Most of this information is applicable to any modular synthesizer from any maker, new or vintage. Modular synths come in all sizes, and this is a fairly large one. Large systems are not necessarily more complicated than small ones, they just have more modules and allow more possibilities. The purpose of a modular synth is to produce sound. With a modular, you get to build your own custom instrument and construct your own sounds. Modularity is freedom, the freedom to create the sounds as well as the music. This is different than a normalized synth where all the functions are wired together internally, like this mini Moog. And it's different than a preset synth where you can press a single button for a sound, like this Yamaha DX7. In a modular synth, each module is independent. It's up to you to patch them together to get the sound you want. Just like a guitar player might have multiple pedals for different effects. Modules can be added, moved around, and replaced as you see fit. It's like a world without fences. If you know the basics of oscillators and filters and envelopes, then you'll have no problem with the modular. There's a module for each one of these functions and more. If you want two oscillators or ten oscillators, it's no problem. If you want to patch filters in parallel or series just to see what happens, it's no problem with the modular. Another great thing about modular synths is you can control each parameter in real time. Just start playing and turning knobs. No clicking through layers of LCD screens and tiny buttons. Analog sounds different than sound created by software in a digital computer. Modular synths are inherently monophonic, one key at a time, but each sound can utilize multiple oscillators and the sound can be very big. You can control the modular synthesizer in many ways, using a traditional keyboard controller, wheels, touchpads, and whammy bars, or with any MIDI source using our MIDI interface module. If you have a box connected to your computer that produces control voltages and gates, that will directly drive the modules in this synthesizer. And there's sequencers. These are big modules that let you program a series of notes and automate parameters. Okay, here's a quick patch to give you an idea of what it takes to make a sound from one of these machines. The very first thing we need to do is we're going to start with our MIDI jack that comes from our keyboard. And we're going to plug that into the Q174 MIDI interface and that will give us the control voltages that we need to drive the synthesizer. The two control voltages are pitch and gate. The pitch control voltage is going to control the pitch of an oscillator. The output of the oscillator is going to go all the way over here to the filter. And then the output of the filter into an amplifier. So that's a complete audio signal chain from the oscillator over to the filter, this controls the harmonics, over to the amplifier, which controls the amplitude. Now we start with our gate signal. And it needs to go to two places, so we're going to use a multiple. And it's going to drive two envelope generators. The first envelope generator is going to control the filter, and the second envelope generator is going to control the amplifier to control the amplitude. So now both envelope generators are connected to the gate signal. Now the output of the first envelope generator will control our filter, and the output of our second envelope generator will control our ampl amplitude. So this is a complete synth patch. We have our pitch controlling an oscillator and the audio output going to a filter to an amplifier and then we have our gate controlling two envelope generators and the output of those controls the filter and the amplifier.
hope that gives you a good idea of what it takes to patch one of these machines. It's not very hard, and all of the functions are similar to any modular or any normalized synthesizer. So if you understand the concept behind oscillators and filters and envelope generators, then it's the same concepts in a big modular. Enjoy.